Welcome back to uh, Dig and Wobble. We're gonna find out what was used to kill Saika. What could it possibly be? What was used to kill Saika? It was the ball. Oh! Not the knife. Oh, shit. But we only got the knife. The game's broken, of course. Shit. So what was used to kill her? There was some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. <laughs> Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. Whoa. Whoa. The killer used some random knife they had on him. How could anyone do something like that? That son of a bitch. All right, what am I doing? Well, it's because it's a kitchen knife. Yeah. It came from the kitchen. All right. So what was used? There was some kind of shit. Without a doubt. So the killer used some random knife. No, it's wrong. Shut the fuck up. I got you. It wasn't a fucking random <laughs> knife. Are you a toddler? No. I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Get out. Whoa. Huh? A kitchen knife? A knife that comes from the kitchen. After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. It's possible. Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? That's what? Right. No! Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof do you need? Hold on a second. I'm... The killer! Our conclusions oh. after we presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? She's right. There's got to be a breakthrough somewhere just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not the killer. Damn well. Yeah. Uh, what is this extra thing? Yeah, I already know that. Yeah. Something I already knew. Good. Good. That's Hina, by the way. How are you, Hina? Hina? Hina, Hina, the swimmer girl. The swimming pool. So Why is it pronounced no like that? It, no, it's no, it, her first name's Aoi. Uh, her full name is Aoi as Hina, but people call her Hina. Oh. Must have taken it from the kitchen, right? You did it in secret. And nobody was in the dining hall. And then he went and stabbed Sayaka with it. So he really did do it. Decided. We've reached the end. All right, what am I doing? Well, uh, Hina witness was there in the dining hall so and I confirmed no that Makoto that never went and got the knife. Yeah. All right. But where does that go? Well, that go what? No. If I missed, I would have pissed myself. Bro. Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Next, you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night and all the knives were still there. When I finished my tea and went back to the kitchen to wash my glass, all the knives were gone. So you saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah. Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Y yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um... No, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Hina was in the dining hall, but I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together, and lying to protect each other? Idiot swimmer girl? Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer! 
Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But what if they did work together and they just didn't know about the rule? Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! <laughs> oh, you can fucking give him hands, dude! Did oh I my say god! That out loud? My unbelievable. Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall. I need and water. I didn't give take the knife. So I'm not the killer. That's not oh. water! <laughs> okay, so then. That's all I take only have that knife? so I can get fucking high, dude. Yeah, that's water. Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Right. But then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um, well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which means, we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's... it's... unwholesome! But, I'm a girl. You are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> but if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Oh, yeah, that's true! One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Oh, this is important. <laughs> yeah, probably. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, because... they're not here anymore. Someone's not here? Are you talking about- Sayaka. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. S Sayaka? Okay, so, so the person who took the knife from the kitchen was- Sayaka. Uh, uh, Sayaka, oh, okay, it was- Hina! Bam! Wait. You were the dining hall this whole time, right, Hina? So- Oh fuck! Uh, uh, I was. Uh, it was Sakura. Oh fuck! Shoot! Oh shoot, dude! I embarrassed myself. Oh fuck! Who could it possibly be? <sighs> Monokuma! It was Monokuma. Yes, it's possible. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? What are you talking about? Why are you shoot. doing this? <laughs> oh Jesus, dude, man! It's quite a hard. It's a difficult question, man. It's, what the fuck? It's very difficult. So. I, it might be Sayaka, I don't know. Oh, it's Sayaka. Then, it Sayaka is the one who took the knife? Sayaka. That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. Oh, God. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... And the person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. What? See? He did do it after all! No, you're wrong! So, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? Hmm. You possess a most terrifying talent. Damn! Ha! Huh. If I don't do something, they're gonna blame me for the murder! But don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die! Hold on. 
It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Okay, so this is essentially, uh, it's gonna be kind of like Wheel of Fortune, essentially. Okay. Okay. Uh, you'll get it. You just uh, need to tell me to, it, uh, it's gonna be a, a, like a fill in the blank. Okay, okay. Uh, something that should have been at the scene, but wasn't. That must be the crucial point. If we can just figure out what that something is. All right. So what was missing from the scene of the crime that should have been there? Possibly be. You, you realize that you could have just said hangman instead of Will Fortune. You I, know. I guess so. That also makes yes. That's. Oh, uh, what's the question again? What was missing from the scene of the crime that should have been there? Uh, missing from the scene of the crime should have been there. Oh shit. Um. If you look at the wood, it's pretty obvious. Uh, yeah, I'm blanking here. Uh. Should have been the scene of the crime, wasn't there? Um, starts with an H. Yeah. Four letter wood. Uh, hair. Oh, oh holy shit, you did it. Uh, what's my arm? There we go. You did it! Now I understand. Hey, man. Oh, what can I say? Uh, reigning champion of Ace. What can I say? Yeah. What can I say? That's right. There wasn't <laughs> a single hair on the floor. So, the culprit removed some evidence? Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. What the fuck, what are you fucking talking about? Sense, uh, what the fuck are you talking about? No. There's a fucking dead body in, case, in my room. How what are you, you talking about? about? an idiot. Not I think that hair is taking blood flow away from her head. Yeah. Very true, very true. Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Then that means... That's a very good reason why the hair's not gone. Precisely. Okay. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Then Makoto isn't the culprit? Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? No fucking idea. Uh, the killer struggled getting into the bathroom, and the evidence that proves it is the object the killer broke. The... Uh, the damn doorknob. Okay. I got it! Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, yeah, true. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. I mean, I just got a tight grip, you know, because I'm a very strong man, you know? Strong Have you seen my penis and balls, so you know? <laughs> you would break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. You still don't see? Okay, then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Yoko said that it was a bewildering act. 
I don't even know what that word means. I almost didn't notice it at first, but is that the key point here? Uh, fuck, I gotta stop drinking. Is it hot in here or am I like getting a fever? Oh, you're getting a fever. It's pretty it's like room temperature in here. Basically. Yeah, I, I can feel that it is, but I'm hot as hell, dude. Uh, what is this? Okay, so there's gonna be more yellow savings. So. A dog pissed on me yesterday. A dog pissed on you? I was that over at my granny? She has a new dog. I'm laying there. The dog's laying there with me. Suddenly gets all concerned and pisses all over my crotch. Really? Ah, oh, sure. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's, really a, <laughs> that's a classic excuse. I didn't piss myself. My dog pissed on me. It's the sword marks on the wall. The sign of a struggle. At that point, that's not the evidence I have. I don't have. I only have the door thing. You only have one piece of evidence. Yeah. The culprit had Sayaka cornered. Oh, so if you have one piece of evidence, it's pretty obvious which one to pick, right? No, there's two statements. You, wasn't it, Makoto? Is it two statements? Admit it. I think there's two. We already know the answer. The incident took place in Makoto's room. Sayaka was first attacked in the main room. Was attacked in the room? That's true. She then fled into the bathroom. Bath. Then the killer ran after her. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. And finally, uh, the culprit had I believe Sayaka the same. So, to finish the job, they what am I doing? With the kitchen door. It was you! I'm saying they tried to bust down the door. I mean, they didn't try to bust down the door. They tried to, like, break the open the handle, right? I mean, that is technically busting down the door. I, I guess. Okay. Were well, they saying there was no sign of a... The, like, no sign of a struggle before? No, there was a sign of a struggle. But they said there wasn't. The room is fucked up. That is the, That was the main point of the first uh, testimony. Right. Was that the room is fucked up. Is that there was a sign yeah. of a struggle. Okay, but but the yellow statement was she ran into the bathroom and locked the door before they got into an altercation, right? Isn't that what no, they that, said? No, that's not. That's the opposite of what they said. That's the op place took place in Makoto's room. Okay, yes, room. yes. Saika was first attacked in the main room Jesus. and then she fled into the bathroom. Oh, God, shit. Your killing you, dude. Dude, yeah, I feel like... And they got into the bathroom. I'm literally sweating. Point, the killer had to try and bust down, bust the, down door. the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. Had locked it. Okay, both those things are true, right? The culprit had Sayaka cornered. Is it? Uh, let me read this evidence. Uh, I was fucking, uh, the door frame. Uh, because the uh, bathroom door was uh, difficult to open, uh, due to it not fitting in the door frame correctly. Only two people know. Fuck. Two, only two people know. Uh, the trick to opening the, uh, the door, which was the color and Sayaka. All right. So. Would you say so you're saying that she didn't lock it because she didn't it think you, that someone would get in? Not that. I admit it. We already know the answer. Well, it's just that. Mo What's? Wait, hold on a second. I, I don't know. I, uh... No, hold on a minute. What am I? No, I'm actually confused at what the fuck I'm missing. There what is you... one important detail that you're missing. Go back to that piece of evidence. It doesn't really say it in the evidence. Uh. It's just a thing that's been established throughout this entire game. But why... Why was Makoto confused on why that he couldn't open his bathroom? At the beginning of the game, why was he confused that he couldn't open his uh, bathroom? Why was he confused he couldn't open it? Uh, because yeah. he felt like it had been... Tampered with? I don't... I don't... He thought that it was locked. But why wasn't it? Why can't it? Oh, it can't lock? Why? Oh shit, it's like backwards, right? Like the locks on the outside? No. Nothing. Why can't it lock? Oh, does it not line up with the door frame? No. I don't, well, it I, doesn't line up on the door frame. But. I, I guess I just don't remember what um, was said. I don't, I don't I, remember I don't know this. how to give this to you without even without blatantly telling you the uh, answer. Tools were used to no. unscrew it. No. I'm trying to, I mean, like, I feel like I... No. I what am I forgetting here? I don't he was he was weird because he didn't understand Saika was first attacked in the main room. Yes, first attacked she in the main fled room into the fled into the bathroom yes. Then the killer ran after her 
Yep. And they got into the bathroom. And they got into the bath. Oh, wait. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Wait, 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 wait. They just said, at that point, chased her into the bathroom, then tried to bust out. No, 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 no. Focus on the yellow statements. Yeah. The white statements does not matter. It's just more to establish the yellow statement. Right. Okay, okay. I'm going to go through it again. All right. Actually, okay. So you basically just look at the yellow statements and tell me which one is most likely to be contradicted. Okay. It's not because the door was locked. No, there's an entire different reason entirely. Because of Makoto just okay, said. Not because, okay. Okay. So we got. So I was first attacked in the main room. Does that make sense? Okay. Then the killer ran after. Killer ran after her. And they got into the bathroom. They got to the bathroom. At that point, the killer and the killer had to bust down the door. The door. All right. Sayaka had locked it. Sayaka had locked it. And finally, the culprit had Sayaka calling. So, so, did the killer bust down the door? It was you, wasn't it, Makoto? Admit it. We already no. know the answer. Yes, yes. But after the murder, to get out? No. No. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. So they're trying to say that the original scuffle happened in the bathroom, then went into no, the No, that's not what they're saying. No, the original was uh, they. First, the uh, Sayaka was attacked in the main room. Okay. Yes, yes. Then she went into the bathroom. Went into okay. the bathroom. So does that make sense that she was attacked in the main room? Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Then she went into the bathroom. Yes. Closed the door. Yeah. And then the killer tried to open it, couldn't open it, so he had to bust down the door. Does that make sense? Did it look like at the crime scene that he busted down the door? Yeah, the, the door was champed. Okay. With. All right. Because Sayaka had locked it, could she lock the door? Could she have locked the door? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I assume no. Why is it a no? The door wouldn't lock? The incident took place in I don't I don't remember this detail of the of so, the game. So which so which evidence am I using against which statement? She then fled into So I'm the using bathroom. the bathroom door frame against which statement? Um against um at that point the killer had that to one. Try and bust down the door. Oh, but, um, no. No. Okay. okay. I, I'm, so just now it's I'm just confused. So now it's a 50 50, all right? So it's the between the first statement the and the locked it statement. Was first attacked so is it this statement? Room. No. So it must be the next statement, right? Uh, yeah. Well, yes. Okay. I, 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 yeah. You, I, I, I'm surprised you forgot this statement. Uh, this, oh, this whole. Oops. I missed. No, Don't, yeah, you, I Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Fuck! I've really been trying to remember everything, but I forgot it. Like, we probably had three scenes. Three scenes about this detail. Yeah, I, I forgot it. Fuck. I missed it. Again, I missed it again. I'm so disoriented. I'm so disoriented, man. Dude, I'm disoriented, man. I feel like I'm in a sauna. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Come on. There we go. Jesus. You see immediately why... You're stupid. Okay. The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? Only the girls' dorms have locks on the bathrooms. The boys' dorms do not. Oh. Uh, They've said that like four times now. Completely forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Yes, now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yep, true as true can be. But you know, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door... <laughs> That's not lucky at all! So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. Exactly, no, everybody should know that. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. Killer was convinced that the bathroom door was locked, so they didn't know that the door actually couldn't be locked. 
because words, the they, name plates were switched, they assumed details, that it was a right. girl's no. room. Oh yeah, so they didn't know that it was that they didn't know that the crime took place in Saika's room. They didn't know. They didn't know. They didn't know. What did the crime take place? They didn't know that the nameplates were switched. They, they didn't, didn't know. Look at the statements. <laughs> what, what did they not know? The time, the crime took place in my room. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant, man. Yeah. No, that's what Jordan I I, I understood that. I'm that it was my room. I'm fading here, man. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? That's inconceivable. And yet, he's absolutely right. Oh. Say what? Well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms. Which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Why does Ultimately, she sound like Steve-o? can't know if it came open by force <laughs> or Steve simply by accident. <laughs> but... Yeah, dude. The killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door open. <laughs> Of course, all every like buff girl sounds like that. They always sound like this. Yeah. Because the, the muscles are contracting on their throat. Uh, Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening. Right? Kodo is a dumbass. That Dumb. is a definite possibility. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms. Then Makoto couldn't have done it. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Okay, then who did do it? I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. <laughs> but what happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules. Majority rules? You really think that's a good idea? Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Oh, as a matter of fact, I do have one question. Oh, you. You don't gotta sound so disappointed. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, well... I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? Hmm, yes. How did the killer get inside? Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Then, maybe someone picked the lock? Negative! If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Fine. How about this? The killer got in the easy way. Incinerator. They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Maizono just let him in. No, that can't be it either. Oh, trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his place. Hello? Why exactly can't that be it? Because she asked me to do something in particular, because of how frightened she was. That's the answer right there. There's no way that I could let someone in, because what did she ask me to do? Uh, she asked him to uh, switch rooms. There we go! I got it! Because Sayaka was already scared, hey, remember? Uh, come back. That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Especially those pizza people. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. What if her being scared was a lie? Huh? Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. 
Can you still deny the possibility? There's something I want to talk to you about. That's us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Check the name place to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. And these are the words that appear. Oh man! I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. When you write, it can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the words. When I saw that, I was like, holy crap! I better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from now on. It's a pretty old-fashioned technique. But even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Oh, and I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Huh? Which means, only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. So, Makoto, did you write this? No, I didn't. But... Of course you didn't, because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Sayaka's signature. And that note, Sayaka wrote it? But, but why? Why would she write that? Why would she write that and we'll find out in the next, the next episode. episode. Thank you for watching this episode. Thank you for watching this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe. It'll be notified every time we upload, which is every single day. Bye-bye.